Jack, four qualifiers for the All American fraternity. Something that I know you're you're used to having choices. Yeah. It's got to be one of the best things and one of the worst things about the year. Yeah, it can it can be, Tom. I mean, it, it's great to to qualify for, but you know somebody's going to be a little upset and disappointed that I I don't get to ride their coat back. But uh, it's a good. I mean, I'm glad I'm in that situation. I'd rather be four of them in there than one not having none to be looking for a mount. Yeah, because situations like occurred in the Rainbow where right. you actually did not have a qualifier and wound up on the winner, they're rare, aren't they? That's, that's hard to come by, it really is. I mean, you have to be have to be pretty lucky to, you know, take somebody else's seconds and, and like you said, end up winning the Rainbow and uh, feature Mr. Bojangles. But, and, and maybe one of my horses that I qualified, you know, maybe one of the other riders, you know, which it, it still it pays good. I, you know, I get half of what they make. So if I don't win, I hope one of those do. Relative to some other times you've had to do this, how tough was this decision? It it really it wasn't all that tough, Tom. I mean, I mean, after after Ochoa run his race in the trials, uh, I mean, before we got back to the winter circle, I was pretty sure that that'd probably be the one I was going to ride back. I mean, he really run a a, a good race. He run pretty easy. I didn't really have to push him all that hard. Uh, he was fortunate. He run at a good time of the day. You know, he had a little tailwind, and, and the racetrack was as good as it's been probably all year when he run that, uh, in his trial. Uh, and that that was one reason I I, I I pretty well had it figured that he would, was going to run a good race. But I really didn't have to pressure him all that hard to get him to run like he did. He come back and he come back super good. He's, he's probably better now than he was going into the trials. Actually, the coach has really, really stepped up like he liked for one to do. I mean, most of the time they, they don't really improve or sometimes they back up a little bit from the trial race. But this coach has really seemed like he stepped up and, and getting better every time right now. I've took him three times since the trials and, and he's gotten better every time I've taken him. Be kind of nice to win one for a guy like old Johnny Jones, huh? Johnny Jones and I have been friends a long time and, and he needs it. I mean, uh, you know, Johnny's getting older and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it would be great for me in, in my career, but it would really, I, I really like for Johnny to win the race, it really would. Well, let's take a look at the, some of them that you qualified and didn't ride back and kind of tell me what their relative strengths are. Uh, Tikoff. Tikoff, that coat probably improved more than any of them that I did qualify from his last race in the Rainbow Trials. Uh, he really stepped up. I mean, he run a super big race. You know, he, I mean, I knew he was running fast too. I mean, he run a, a 15. Uh, he run the race after uh, uh, the other coat. But I mean, that horse really stepped up. I mean, he, he really improved like he liked the one to do. I took him back to the track, you know, four or five days ago, and he really come back good. I mean, that that horse has got a leg legitimate shot to win the win the All American. He really does. And then uh, you qualified for another one for Sleepy. Yeah, uh, Mr. E's one, two, three. That colt is he's a good colt. He's very honest. You know, I don't think he's quite fast enough probably to win the All American, but but anything can happen. You know, if some horses get in trouble, get a little, little bump and a knock around. This coach quick enough away from the gates that, that he could get up there and get the big end of it if everything goes right for him. And Denver Pass. Denver Pass is a coat that, that's getting better every race. I mean, he really runs good on the end. Uh, he can run a quarter of a mile. He, he hasn't been quite quick enough away from the gates. That was, that was one of the reasons I didn't ride him back because he's just not quick-footed enough to stay close the first 50 to 75 yards. But if that horse steps up a little bit and gets a good clean break and gets away on his toes, he could be right there because he can run a quarter of a mile. So what does Ochoa have to do better than he's done it before in order to win? He just just step away with him, you know. That's all he's got to do is, is is get him a good clean break the first four or five jumps. And uh, he can finish. I mean, he can get the quarter of a mile. And, and that, that's all my main problem is you know, that I'm looking at just the first three or four jumps. If he gets away within a neck or a shoulder, half a length of him, I think he's going to be an easy winner.